on Tuesday. Bynum, a rocket ship down the lane for the opening two. For Villanova to try to control early. What a back cut from Carter. He didn't even get the ball. Croswell finishes right on the doorstep. The, the inability to be aggressive on one end to affect you on the offensive end if you're Carter. Croswell, oh. flat-footed, <laughs> scores. And four. He can't find it with four to shoot. Downstairs, and it's a block. Dixon denied at the rim. With Daniels on the bench. Noah Locke carving the lane for two. We throw change-ups to each other yeah. in the backboard. <laughs> That's that balance. Last down on the three. Always available. He's been better from three this year than he's ever been in his career as Hopkins gets to the rim and wants the continuation as he does get the bucket and the foul. Of six, seven minutes a game he averaged last year at Kentucky. Comes in now, he's averaging 17. Nine rebounds, and, and he's playing with a confidence that Ed Cooley knew he had, and he can pull out of him. Is, is one that I know we're going to show a special on our guy Gus Johnson after this game. But Eric Dick Harvard, Dixon on the drive, missed it. Rebound Hopkins, five on four for the Friars. Floyd to the corner, Pierre into the post. Roswell digging for two. Talk about player of the year as Bynum tees it up and misses. Somehow the weak side rebound goes to Floyd, and he sets it up for Hopkins. Well, usually a solid guy, stays in front, sticks with the plan. Oh, nasty from Lock behind the back. Whitmore down the lane, that's an offensive foul. And that's okay, you used a lot of clock, you used a lot of time. Wow. Uh-oh, here we go. The laminator out. For Devin Carter. <laughs> and it's just at times it's so easy for Devin Carter. You know, you, you gotta put the ball on the floor and try to get something created at that foul. Wow. And Hopkins goes right at him. <laughs> Look out. Double comes. Croswell in the lane. Got two. And no whistle on the contact. Late shot clock for Slater, trying to hit it into the post. Here comes Hopkins on the run against a lot of sky blue into the lane, and he draws a whistle against Slater. How about that? He said that? They're gonna miss. I couldn't control the game at recess in second trip. I can't do it now. Lock for two in the lane. There's that follow away you talked about in the first half. The Not there for Nova. They've been getting basically everything they want, and Noah Lock has a three. And this Providence team has a couple of erasers. Leadus one. Lock on the drive. Into the lane. Oh, that's tough. Yep. A little shimmy gets him some room and gets him to the 10 for two and a foul. This game this year, defensively, he still is at a little disadvantage against a guy like Bryce Hopkins. He just doesn't have that lateral movement. He has the strength, the body. Last scramble. Carter saw daylight and hammered it. Hailed in. Bynum got to the rim with the left. It's there. Now Daniels slicing through. No. That's a whale of a defense wow. possession. That's not a great pass. But you know what? Ed Croswell makes it work. He was going to get into a rhythm. He finally splashed down. With Devin Carter inside. They just left Hopkins, and that is a really bad idea. I mean, business as usual. Whitmore accelerating to the rim. It's a five point game. Cam Whitmore, you, you see glimpses at times. You know, it's that consistency, putting it together is what you want to see from him. Bynum creates a power play, essentially, and Cross Within two here, Locke with four fouls, gets into the lane, gives it up across the lane. What a find to Croswell. Well, that play almost died on the wing. Noah Locke held on to it. You don't want to be a ball stopper out of a timeout when you're struggling. Couldn't get the ball back, but creates here. A nice two-foot jump stop. A nice job of hitting back into plays. He works so hard on the defensive end. You see it as he backs that too. Ed Cooley says go. They've got to lock. Oh wow.
Carter with five. Carter from long range. No way! And early in the second half. That one sat for him, too. Oh, a member's bounce right there. That's right. And a steal. Hopkins to the rim, and he's hit. He'll go to the line. Now he's making friends. And he's, again, attention to detail. Make a couple free throws. Using for his career right now. Whitmore misses. Croswell the rebound, and he may get to 1,000 on this trip to the line. And this crowd, so appreciative of a team that just came together on the fly this preseason basketball today. Roswell hits point number 1,000. Congratulations, big fella. Very cool for Ed Roswell, who has become such a stellar force inside for this team.